Okay. Awesome. So we'll just go in and, and, and run a full blown conversion ad to multiple ad sets. And we'll just pick a, we'll pick five different keywords and, and let that, let that, let that damn thing do what it do. And, and what we'll do is we'll check it in four days. So in four days, we'll, we'll, that's when, that's when we'll chat again and we'll review those numbers. We'll review, we'll look at the, all, all, all ad sets in four days and we'll turn off all of them. We'll tur turn off a few of them. We'll probably turn off maybe four out of five, maybe three out of five for sure. We'll turn off a few of them and, and, and look at it from there. So we're going to run, is the goal to run five ad sets at $5 yep. per day for four yep. days? Yep. Okay. Yep. And so when's that masterclass? The masterclass is Wednesday night. So I'm thinking we should actually okay. run it to Thursday morning. Perfect. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to start it today and it's going to start tomorrow. So it's going to run Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Starts what time Wednesday? Uh, 6, 15 PM. Perfect. So we'll run it to, we'll run it, we'll run it to 6 PM. Okay. We'll run it to 6 PM and that, that, and boom, that's four days and boom, we'll talk the next day. Okay. Yeah, Wednesday. We'll, we'll talk the next day after that. We'll, six, set, we'll set the time. Get it, set the time. So then I turn this first one on. And once that first one approves, then I go back and approve the other ad sets, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. yep. All right. Awesome. So let's click the green button and we'll go just straight into create and we'll go to conversions. And we'll just, um, <clears throat> let's just name it from here. From here, hit the drop down, scroll down, and then just hit this drop down. Let's just give this first, this first campaign. Each one, um, let's just give it its name. So maybe image, black dress image or whatever, you know, whatever is best to remember that one specific image, black dress, perfect. And then, and then um, for sure put, put image and then in parentheses put conversions. <clears throat> so we know it's an image, black dress image, and then, and we know it's conversions. We know, you know, which objective we're going to be going with on the campaign. Okay. Perfect. And in the middle one, the ad set, let's start with our first, our first keyword, which was what real estate. What was it last real estate. time? Yep. It was real, real estate. estate. That's all we need in that one. That's our title for every ad set, the middle, the second tab, real estate. And then yeah, the keyword. And then the third one, just, I would just probably do the same black dress image. It don't matter on that one, black dress image, no conversions needed, <clears throat> just black dress image. That's the ad. That's, that's all it is. Um, cool. And then continue. So yeah, get in the habit of naming everything here is, is good. Okay, cool. So now over here, we'll, we know now we got to go with special ad category and we'll go with housing um, <clears throat> and then scroll down. And then over here too, this is, since we're going into a full-blown ad, um, scroll down, scroll down a little further, A-B testing. This is, this is good to, to test as well, campaign budget optimization. Campaign budget optimization is where you just give Facebook the the green light like so as we go in and set up multiple ad sets we're going to come in and set up five right mm -hmm. so as we come in and set up five ad sets we're we're setting it at five dollars per day which means facebook can just spend that whole five bucks in that one day on that one ad set and, and it's all good but when we have multiple we're not going to just have one ad set like most people do we're going to have multiple we're going to have five right this right here when we turn this on this this is just saying hey facebook Go ahead and optimize my ad sets. Go ahead and put the money wherever, which in whatever ad set you fit, you you feel you you feel that's best. So if there's on if there's one ad set and I'm giving you five bucks a day to spend it on, because we're gonna have five of them, five dollars times five. If I'm giving you five bucks per ad set to to spend, you have five of them. We have five of them. What if what if one of them's not performing? I don't want to spend your five bucks on it. What if what if that ad set's not not really pulling in all the attention? I don't want to spend five bucks on that. So what Facebook ends up doing automatically is dumping all the money into the one ad set that's actually performing. That's campaign budget optimization. So go ahead and turn that on. Now, now is the time to start turning it on. And, and there'll be times also where we'll want to do the same exact thing, but with it off. That's the form of split testing. So you're just, you're, and you're only running it for a few days. That's what makes it work as well is the fact that you're not spending a ton of money on it for a long period of time to see if it works. The magic, the magic number is really three, three complete days. You let that thing run for three complete days, 72 hours, and look at the data after that. And that will let you know if there's an ROI, you'll be able to see if leads are coming in or your cost per click or things of that nature. But um, <clears throat> so it's only a few days where you're either running one ad, we're going to run this with it on, but then We'll look at the numbers and maybe, maybe on our next time around, we'll run it with it, with it off. off once we know what yes. we're running it to. Once, yes. yes. Well, not, not necessarily what, not necessarily 
when we know what we're running it to. But when, when, when we run it and we look at the numbers with it on, we may want to run it and look at the numbers with it off to okay. see if there was any difference. Same ad, same everything. It could be the same targeting, but done at a different day. After this runs, we'll, not, we'll have the numbers and we'll be able to look at it in four days and be like, okay, cool. Well, maybe let's turn it off this, this next time and see if our, if our cost per click or, or let's see if our cost per lead drops. And, okay. and again, it's only turning it on for our second ad a few days to just determine the difference, see if there's a difference because there is. Okay. These little things are what testing is all about. So when you hear about Facebook ad testing or split testing, it's these little things. It's these little things that you're doing and you're only doing it for a few days, right? Because in a few days, you'll see the data and, and it doesn't take a week, you know? Um, so in this case, we're going to go daily, five bucks, we'll leave it on and we'll go next. So that's, that's step one. That's the campaign level. Now we're in the second step. We always want to make sure that that pixel is the, is the one we're rocking with. That's our pixel, <clears throat> right? Yes. Um, Six five three three. That's mm -hmm. the conversion event, right? That's our conversion event. If you X out masterclass opt-in, X out, you'll see all the different conversion events. <clears throat> right here? No, 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 no. Go back to the ads manager. That little right there where it says the conversion event, masterclass opt-in. Hold on. Masterclass opt-in right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if there's a Zoom little bar, you can drag that thing out the way. If there's that little menu bar. That Zoom. Oh, it's at the very bottom, but we're okay, good. Okay, cool. Okay, so that yeah, that conversion event, masterclass opt-in, X that out. So by default, it's there. By default, it's there. But okay. sometimes, sometimes that's not the one I'm shooting for. Okay. So, so if I was shooting for my other custom conversion, should, because I'm trying to get leads on the freebie, okay, cool. Let me X that out and let me hit the drop down and go and choose that one. Right? So we're going to go with the master class opt-in. We're going to go in this case. Yeah, we're going to go with the, with the master class opt-in. Okay. So boom, we put it in right there. And that is your conversion. That's the goal is to get people to that link right? We're very, yes. being very specific on this. So um, not only is that link set up as a custom conversion, but that link is also set up as a custom audience. Okay. Because everybody who comes into that audience is going to be an audience that I'm going to make sure I exclude as I continue to run more ads on the masterclass. How would we do that? Because they're all going into that audience. We have an audience for masterclass opt-ins. Oh, we built it in already. Go to the tab to the right. Leave this open. To the left. Open up the, open up the, uh, go another the, tab. Yeah. No, just yep. from there. Go to your folder and go to custom audiences. So oh, go, go to my folder. Go to your bookmarks. Yep. Go to bookmarks. your bookmarks. Let's, um, hmm. let's look at custom audiences. So in here, we should have the custom audience of those who opt in mm -hmm. and, and they land on the thank you page. So what did we name that? Uh, master, see, we got master masterclass page only, right? So yes. masterclass page 30 days only, we have that audience. So as we run this ad, people click, they come to our page, but they don't register. That's that audience. Okay. And then those who actually, and, and what am I going to do with that audience? I'm going to use them and I'm going to include them and I'm going to target them with every ad from this point on. Right. Because they did not opt in. They didn't opt in, but they got to my page. They just didn't freaking jump in my world. Okay. So, so the fact that you at least got there shows me enough effort that you took to, to make me want to show you another ad. I got you. Wait, but, but hold on. So, so let me come back to this tab. Hold on, just to make sure that I understand this. So I go to bookmarks. I'm going to go here. Uh, no, nope, here. We're going to come here. We just went to custom audience, custom conversion. We know means, the custom conversions on there because we checked the pixel helper in the beginning. Remember? Yeah, but so, but this means that they actually registered. This is just our conversion. That's all this is. Is just a conversion. But the audience is is the audience. That's the fact that people that are in that audience are in that audience. I got so you. The conversion is just a notification for Facebook. Hey, Facebook, I'm notifying you right now that this is the link I need people getting to. Okay. That's all a conversion is. So but, what I did not know, whether we're running an ad or not, right? Mm -hmm. Facebook is calculating these numbers because it says that 138 people made it to the master class opt-in since we set this pixel up, right? And nine people did the freebie opt-in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But, but those are numbers right there that you won't don't even pay attention to those numbers. Like you can, but those numbers really, really ain't nothing. Okay. I'll show you the numbers on the dashboard, which we'll look at, but then also you'll have numbers in your, in your CRM 
to reflect the real lead. Like the, the real, at the end of the day, you can look at all these metrics, but in my opinion, they'll help. They'll help for sure. But at the end of the day, the way I kind of look at it, what did I spend and how many leads came in? Or what did I spend and what was the gross? Bottom yeah. line, bottom line. So whatever the hell Facebook's going to show me, okay, cool, whatever. But I know my damn numbers. I know how much I spent on this damn advertisement. And I know how many leads came in because that's how much I see in Kartra, right? Yeah. And I know how many sales came in because that's, what it, that's what's in my damn bank account. You know what I mean? So looking at the hard numbers and those basic numbers will help a lot. But all these numbers, sometimes they're accurate, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're not. In fact, a lot of times they're not um, super accurate. But just knowing your basic numbers are, are kind of all we kind of need. Okay. But but you'll start. To, but again, I'll show you from the dashboard. I'll show you a way easier way to look at the numbers. All right. Um, we'll get there. So let's just continue from here. Let's scroll down a bit. Let's scroll down just a bit. And then right here, we have dynamic. See, as we move to add creatives, we'll do that later on. But right there, dynamic creative, that's where you would turn that on. Do I turn it on now on. or no? No, 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 no. We'll tur- we would turn that on. And then, and then when we get to the third tab, black dress image, when we get to that step, once we turn that dynamic creative on, when we get to the next step, black dress image, that's when we would dump in five different images. Okay. And that's when we let Facebook just kind of shift through all of them. Pictures. All the pictures to find the one picture that people are clicking on the most. Okay. And then we run with that one. Again, we so, look at that one after four days and we rock with the one that is getting so the So dynamic creatives is the visual, but today we're going to look at the keyword. Yeah. Today we'll just do, do it on the ad sets. We'll do multiple, okay. multiple ad sets. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll do multiple ad sets. So we'll leave that one off, leave that one off. And then now we'll just go to the budget. So here are the dates. Go ahead and just set the next day, 6 a.m. Um, and we won't put an end date because we'll want to look at this in four days and, and see if this is even one we'll leave on. Right. So we got that. So now we'll come down to the, to the audience um, and we won't put any audiences here. Um, oh, we, right. It's the next one. We could be retargeting. We could be retar- In fact, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go ahead in that audience. Go ahead and go ahead and put in your intro video. So all those that are watching your intro video right now, click on custom audience right there in the middle custom oh, wait audience. A wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Hold on. Custom audience in the middle. Okay. Okay. So right here, you can, you, you have your introduction video, 15 second. Mm-hmm. So that right there would be a great audience to, to maybe retarget and include in this, in this first one, we could just put that there and we can go down and choose our, our, our keyword as well. But let's okay. go ahead and put that in there. Go ahead and put that in there. Let's yeah, we're going to, we're going to retarget everyone who's watching the first 15 seconds of that intro video. In. And yep. then we come down here because it's in housing and then we do the detail targeting, right? Yes, that's where okay. that one keyword goes. So go ahead and type in that. Interest. Yep. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then we click out and let's just scroll down and then we'll, we'll narrow it in with the language. We'll just go with, with, re, with English all and then automatic. We'll leave it. We'll leave it on automatic. We'll leave it on automatic. Um, it is an image. So Facebook will place that picture everywhere and anywhere it possibly can, but give it the best ROI because um, we went with campaign budget optimization. So they're going to end up putting the budget where it it's engaging the most, um, not just blowing it, not just spending the five bucks per day because you said to spend five bucks per day. Okay. They're going to actually put it on the ad set that's performing. That's dynamic. Or that's that's campaign budget optimization. Okay. You see the difference there. Uh huh. Right. So 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 um, so we'll leave that. Scroll down, and that's it. Hit next. That's the second step. That's it. Simple. And then and then the third one. Now we'll just come right, right down here, and then go ahead and hit the red triangle. Use selected page. Go ahead and hit that, and then just um just click on that one. And it's not going to run on on Instagram. That's what this is. That's what. Actually, no, it didn't notify us. That's we're fine. Okay, cool. So scroll down and then just click on create. So ad. question, why wouldn't it run on Instagram? If it's if it's sized for Instagram, then it will. But okay. if it's not, then it just simply with one. Okay. Yeah. So it's all about the dimension. Okay. Um, so we'll go here, click on create ad, the drop down right above. Right here. Setup, to the left. To the left. Add to the right. Add setup. You have that. Wait a minute. Okay, let's down. stop. 
right here. Okay. There you go. Create ad, hit the drop down. And then so is it already on the business page or is it or is it not on the business page? Um that I don't know. Okay, it's probably not on the business page. We should have we should have put it on the business page first, but it's okay. Well, let's go do let's go do that because we would want it to be there after the fact they engaged, right? Yeah, you want it you want it to be there. Um you want it to be there for sure. So let's put it on the business page first and then yeah, we'll let's come go back to here. So let's go to the business page. So rather than posting it on the business page first, we're going to simply run it here behind the scenes. And, and, and again, we, we'll do plenty more ads where we do it on the business page first. But we want to make sure everything is there first. But for some reason with the image, we can't put that headline. We, we need to put a headline. So if you change, so go to, go to create posts. Click on create post. That, that um, yeah, create a new page post. So click on that. Okay, scroll scroll up. Yeah, th this is not what we need. So cancel all that. Just scroll back up. We want to create a whole new ad. We don't want to use existing posts. So scroll up. Scroll up. Yeah. So right, right there. Use existing posts. Click on that and go to new ad, or go to ads. Click mm. on that drop down. Use existing post. So hit the drop down and go with create ad. Yeah. And then from here, it's going to just have you upload the image from your computer. So click on um, scroll up. We just need to add the image. So create. Okay, single image. Um, okay, so just go back down. So underneath single image, we want to, I guess, click on it. Do you, do you got to click on it? Click on it. Okay, so scroll down. It must be lower then because, yeah, it must be lower. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Right there, add, add media. media. Yeah, okay, so we're going to add media. We're going to upload it from your computer. So add image and just hit the upload button right there to the left and just grab that image. Perfect. So this is just one way to run it. You're running it behind the scenes. It's not on the business page. And um, and so click on that image and then just hit next. So this, doing it this way is giving us the ability to put the headline. Watch, hit next. And then just go with, um, go with, check. You can check all of them to the left. See each one. Look at vertical, look at horizontal, look at, um, look at, look at square. Go, a lot of people go at square. Square is actually the most popular, but look at all of them. Click on horizontal, um, maybe uncheck vertical so you can see. Or So that's, so go at square. A lot of people go with square. I mean, I don't even know why it even asks us. It should just. I think it, re it says crop image to fit each placement. Yeah. So, so I believe it allows you to crop. So the only one then if we were to check them all that I would want to crop would be this one because I would want it to be. Yeah, perfect. Right there. Yeah. Awesome. Looks oh, good. Wait, hold on. Crop. Let's do this. Why? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So we'll uh, hit done. So there's hold the images. On one minute. Let me just. Perfect. I okay. Love, I love it. Awesome. So just done. go with do we want to apply additional adjustments, enhancements? No. no. We'll just hit hit done. done. Yeah, we're good. So that's that. And then the learn more button there is 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 it there yet? Yeah, we just link that, right? So scroll down to the left. And image unavailable, that's fine. So here's so here's the primary text and mm -hmm. then the headline. Okay. So that's what we were shooting for. That's why you want to put the headline in first. Yeah, either one. Okay. All of it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna need all of it. Do we do primary text? Yes, in the primary text. Yeah. What will we put there? The text. So the headline was just that part. So all of all of that that becomes the text in the ad. That's the ad. So that's not the description. No, that's the actual primary text. So, did the so primary text. Yep. Primary put text. all this right here. Put it all in. That's okay. the ad. Just like on your page. Same. All thing. right. And then what would the so, description be? I don't ever put it, but what that is, is that's the small print right next to the headline. So okay. as you go to a Facebook ad, go look, go to the newsfeed real quick. You, you'll it, it's good to look at this stuff and see what in real time scroll down to an actual ad so right here keto mm -hmm. keto chow right so there's a the primary text uh -huh. there's the image 
there's the headline right below the image, 100 and, days. And then there's the, the, um, the, what you call it. Okay. The, um, Up under there. Uh, uh, abstract in December. That's the, the, description. Um, the description. So go back. Okay. Yeah. That's the description, the fine All print right. below. Now we come over here and we link them to this the web page. The landing page. Yep. Okay, perfect. So this was one full blown ad set. Now let's scroll down. Let's 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 make this part quick because we we could speed through this part. Display link. You don't need that because you already have Mark. Actually, you know what? Display link. Put markylemons.com. Markylemons.com. Okay. On the display link. Yeah, you'll always want to do oh, that. Oh, in doing this, do we do I remove that HTTP? Yeah, just stuff? put markylemons.com. Yep, markylemons. Okay. Well, I didn't. I messed that up on the first one right here. Yeah. In, no, yeah. no, in the optional, 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 optional. Do it in the display link, optional. Wait a minute. Right Hold below. On. Right below. Display yeah. link, optional. Yes, that's the display link. So, in fact, it says it right there already, markylemons.com, but go ahead and put it. That's fine. Markylemons.com. So, that's what displays right above the headline. So, oh, no, that, that's not what I'm asking. When we were doing the ads before, you told me don't include the HTTP. No. Not, not, not on this part. You okay. want to include that that when you set up the custom audiences and the custom okay. versions. Okay. All right. So you don't include it there. But here, this is the learn more button. Yeah, mm -hmm. just paste the whole link in there. Okay. Perfect. So that's the more. Action. That's the learn more. That, that's the display link. And then scroll down, and then your your pixel should be here, and you're good. So yes. there's there's the pixel. Um, and then hit publish. So this is the first one. This is what we're going to use as our blueprint, as our template. We're going to rock off of this one. So the campaign is already set at conversions. It's already set at special ad category. It's already set at housing. That's the campaign. So we're going to X out of this one. This is published. This is ready to go live at 6 a.m. And then we'll X out of this one in the top left. Okay. And then we'll just come back to the to to the campaign tab and that's done it's done why is this out. negative red over here Any yeah it's reason? all good don't yeah okay no, no okay, x out x out okay now x out and of all the ads and x out of all of them except for the one on the left so x out of that one x out of the ad set and then um hit the campaign here we go okay hit the campaign now uh-huh okay so okay so let's uncheck Actually, that that is the one black dress. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the ad sets. So, so we go. leave the first one checked, the campaign. Yes. That's what mm -hmm. we're rocking off of. Now okay. we go to the ad set, and we hit create from here. And we hit create from here. Yes. And we we'll set up black dress, right? That stays the same. We don't touch the top one. Right. Ad set, ad set is going to be uh, what do we have? The next keyword. Any keyword. oh real estate investor. Whatever it could be, any next keyword. And that's what you'll want to start collecting. You know, is is in here on on, on a you know maybe we just as an example we we go back into here. We Actually, need to shit, we're going to see it from right now. As we go in, let's make sure we really write down all those keywords. You know. Okay. And, and, and real really, estate investor, right? Really take note of it. Real estate investor was one of them. Luxury real estate was the other one. The one, right. Um, yeah, and then, okay. and then there I would just put black dress image. You know, okay. Black dress image. And then continue. That's it. So it's always good to let, to name everything here. It's optional, but um, saves you time on having to do it right here. So okay. perfect. So we're good right there. Title, website, scroll down. That's the pixel. Um, that's the conversion event. We're gonna um, we're gonna hit the budget and schedule. You know, we'll schedule it for the next day. Um, okay, good. So go back up real quick above the date. So we have anything above the date. Okay, we're good. Okay, cool. So scroll down. Oh, we were gonna do the video, right? Yes. Custom audience. Go ahead, and, go ahead and put that in. Uh, where is it? It wasn't video views. Yeah, it was the, the yep. The oh, introduction. Seconds. Yep. Perfect. 15 second. Okay. Okay, cool. And then also, um, okay, so with the other 
targeting you, you we targeted the u.s right uh the english US. oh yeah, english yeah. All the u.s yeah it's not a specific state or anything yes oh, the u.s okay perfect Yes, United but, States but, came up. But hitting the drop down, which is I don't think we did that on the first time around, hitting the drop down is always important as well. Right above the location. Go back okay. up. So right there, people living in. I don't think we did that the first time around. Which we'll, we'll we did. Like, yeah, we always want to go with people people living in. in. Yeah, living in this location. Okay. Right. So um, yeah, we'll go back and change that the, on the first one. So here we're good. So now detail targeting that that second keyword real estate investor that's it english all that's it simple and so one way of testing is this campaign budget op optimization turned on right the other way is to turn it off was investing the uh, yeah in real estate investing okay perfect so okay. so one way to test it is it with is with it on that's what we have do that's what we're doing right now with it on another way is to turn it off Another form of testing of, of split testing is on is on the actual placement. So scroll down. So right here, we're going with automatic. Mm -hmm. It's good sometimes to test and go with manual and, okay. may, may, and, and maybe only place it in the newsfeed. Okay. Like maybe only have every single penny of that budget showing that ad to only people in the Facebook newsfeed. That's one way to do it as well. A lot of lot of heavy marketers do it that way, but but placing with automatic is really good that way too because you just let Facebook determine where the engagement is at. Facebook knows that better than us. So, but at the same time, we what we do know, just being consumers of the platform, what we do know is our attention is always on the newsfeed. Like yes. when you're on your Facebook and you're scrolling through Facebook on your phone or on a computer, it's the newsfeed. You're looking at the newsfeed. So, so having every penny go into exposure there and there only, that's automatic placement. I mean, that's, 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 that's manual placement, excuse me. That, that would be manual placement or edit placement. Scroll down. That would be the, um, the what's it called? The, the, the manual placement, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to click that myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click it. I'm going to click manual placement, go ahead and click it. And I'm going to uncheck everything except for Facebook. I'm going to uncheck Instagram. I'm going to uncheck Messenger. I'm going to uncheck Audience Network. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm also, it now Facebook is checked. So now we're only talking Facebook, but I'm still going to narrow it further. I'm going to uncheck everything in stream. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uncheck Marketplace. I'm going to uncheck everything except for Newsfeed. I got you. So that's one way to test an ad as well. I can run one ad with campaign budget optimization on, on automatic placement. I can also run the same ad again with on, manual placement. With, with 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 manual placement and only run it to the news feed and turn off campaign budget optimization, which was on the first level of campaign, the first tab. I could turn that off and run it run it that way, and I can run it for four days and see which one outperforms. Okay. There's always going to be an outperformer. There's always an outperformer when you're looking at numbers. There's always one number higher than the other. So maybe it's that ad that that shows a better cost per click. Okay, cool. I'll leave that one on. At least I only had to spend spend on it for four days, and I didn't spend on it for 14 days twiddling my fingers. At least I was able to look at it in a few days and determine. Okay, cool. Let's just dump the money there. Okay. You know. So this is all part of of, of the cost. This is all part of your overall budget. Is the testing. That's what people don't, don't don't want. They want immediate gratification and they want to sell something right now when it's like, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta warm it up first. Like, let's get this thing going. Uh, warm yeah. it up, right? Like, so that's what warming it up is also is the data is the fact that we now have ads out. We're now collecting data. Those who are watching it are going into an audience. Those who are clicking and landing on a page are going into an audience, right? That's data. That's my, that's what I'm paying for as well. So so now we'll scroll down. We got English all. We're good here. So we're not going to publish. Remember, we're not going to publish. We're going to hit the red icon. We're going to hit the red triangle and we're going to work out of the third tab, which is the last step, the third step. And this is the ad. So we're going to just match it up there with the red triangle, select Instagram account. We'll match it up there. We'll scroll down. We'll, we got to create the ad again. So now we have to grab the same image. We have to put the same text. We have to put that, that, that oh, line. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, um, so go ahead and scroll down, scroll down, 
create ad, we'll scroll down and we'll just grab the image. So add media, and it should already be here as well. So you don't have to grab it from your computer. It should be, yeah, perfect. And that's it. And then just paste in the same text, the same headline, and, and that's ad set number two. Awesome. So we no won't www, publish this. Right? Yeah, no www, that's fine. Um, and then we'll just make sure the pixel, we see it green down there below the tracking. Um, we're good there. And then, and then we don't publish, right? So um, all domains need to be associated with the pixel event. Yeah, that's fine. So that's the same um, um, domain that's already verified, Marky Lemons. Yeah, you're good. Okay. You're good. You're good. So um, the pixel event you selected is associated with at least one domain, um, but this ad doesn't have a domain selected. So that has to be some random error. Scroll back up because the, the domains – or actually select domain. You see that drop down. So go back. Where did that drop down go? Go up. Um, where did that drop? You want to go up? Well, where was it at? I just saw it. Maybe well, it's let's, let's go slow. Actually, yeah, right here. Select a domain. I'm sorry. Hit that drop down and then go to your. Okay, cool. So you had to select it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so hit it and then you're good. Okay, so that that that's good. So now now you don't publish it. Mm -hmm. We um we X, X out in the top mm -hmm. left. And then we close. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And all we're going to do is create the third one. And this one was luxury real estate. Yep. So now here, all we're doing is, is the same. Different keyword. That's it. So look, watch. X is, actually, we'll come back on our fourth one. Go ahead and finish this one. So let's go into the languages and let's let's just finish this one. And then I'll show you on the next time around. So this will be what our third our third one right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we'll leave it on automatic. We'll scroll down. We'll um. We'll just hit the red triangle to the left, and fill in the rest of the blanks. Okay, cool. And then the text, website, display link, and that's it. I'm not seeing. Oh, okay. Never mind. And see, so what we're doing here is multiple ad sets, right? And then I and then I explained multiple ad creatives when you do the same split testing, but on multiple images, different images. One you got a black dress, the other one you got a red dress, right? You got five different images, and then Facebook, they're the ones who who you know put the machine on it to show which one out outperforms. Another form of split testing is when you do everything the same one image let's say we're not split testing multiple images we're split testing multiple headlines so another way of split testing is where you use the same image and now all we're going to do is switch up the headlines okay right this headline says this that headline says that so now we have five different headlines and we split test that so so for this i'm gonna cross out here right the so the, everything is good there. You you got the link in there. Everything is good. Um, yep, yeah, you'll X out. Here. Yep, you got you got the let got the link. How about a display link? MarkyLemons.com goes right there oh, in the display link. Yeah. Um, and then yes, and then you would X out. Okay. X out. Close. And then we okay, would so have. Then you uncheck this one. So we're in the third tab. So we'll uncheck that one. Uh, and on, now let's oh. click on the click on the middle tab. Click on ads. Yeah, click right there. So now we should see, um, and and now that that one down special category lookalike. Turn that one off. Shade that. Which blue one is to that gray. one? That last one down. This Shade one. Shade that blue to gray. Yeah. Shade the blue to gray. Um. And then click on the third tab, ads for one ad set, and see if that one, see if it shows up over there as well. Yeah, shade all these to, actually, no, those are the ones in draft. Okay, you're good. So click on the middle tab, the middle tab, ad sets. So now we have, we have the real estate, which is scheduled, mm -hmm. right? And then we have the other two that have not been published yet. 
Right. And that's and why we see two here. And then there's two on the ads level. That's right. Why you have and a total of four in the top right. Top. Okay. Yes. I think I'm going to try one more by myself yeah. and see what happens. Do, do it again. Let's do it. Let's go run through it real quick. Oh, I didn't want to run. I didn't want to. Uh, so we went back to so front campaign. Hit the campaigns. Check right. the box. You always uh, want to check dress. the box. Yep. Black dress. We're going to come back to the second tab. Yep. We're going to click the create. Yep. Oh, uh, we had, what was the dang on keywords? Uh, it was. We did luxury. We did real estate. Oh, it was real estate broker. Real estate broker. So now we are over here. We're going to do website. We see the pixel. We see the conversion. Mm -hmm. um, we're not doing dynamic. We know that we want this to be tomorrow, the 16th at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. We don't set an end date. Nope. Okay. Um, with the audience. It says uh, we're going to come here and do that intro video. Yep. We are going to continue to scroll down. We know we want the people living in the United States. Mm -hmm. We keep scrolling down. But we'll go back up real quick. Hit the drop down. Remember on the drop down above the United States? So people living in. All people living in. Mm -hmm. Durr. Okay. People living in. All right. Come down where it says uh, detail targeting, we're going to put in real estate broker. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, this is what I was going to show you um, on the last one. So yeah, if you type in real estate broker, go ahead and mm -hmm. select that and then hit suggestions. And then maybe write down all these words, right? Okay. So each one, each one, I could hit suggestions on each one and it'll probably populate a few different words. I got you. Right, so, so those are a ton that I can I can make note of and, and just, it'd be, you know, knowing those keywords are, are. I'm taking everything. a picture again. Picture, keep scrolling down. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. House hunting. Search, oh, I'm sorry. Let me keep going. Uh, search language. English all. Mm-hmm. We're going to do automatic placement. Yep. And we're and that's good it. here. We come back over and do the red X. Yep. Red triangle. Click red on triangle. The black, black dress image. And then there goes the Instagram account again. And then just putting in that same everything else. Okay. So add setup. We're going to create an existing ad with a single image. We come down, we go, we pick the picture. We've already loaded it. So they have it inside of the system right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. We just do the vertical, crop it, slide it over just a little bit, hit the apply. We like the horizontal. We like the square. We don't do any enhancements. We hit done. Yeah. Once we hit done, we're going to scroll down a little bit more. Uh, primary text. I'm gonna copy and paste. Uh, we'll take this. Da 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 da. da. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Headline. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, cool. Based. And then uh, nothing in the description. We come over here to our website URL. Mm -hmm. Copy. Paste and then the display link is going to be markylemons.com. Perfect. Uh, uh, learn more. Mm -hmm. uh, no ad language, no tracking, but let's check this for that pixel. And then um, You're good. everything looks good. We would then cross out. Yep. Then we X on the top left 
Mm -hmm. And then let's just look at these um, at these ad sets real quick. So now we have now if we close, we click on the middle tab um, ad sets. And so now everything is running conversions to that one black dress image mm -hmm. targeting these four different keywords, these different ad sets, real estate, real estate investor, luxury real, real estate and real estate broker. Yes. So yeah. So so four of them, you know, you got four of them. You can always go five, but you can you can go four. But um, to get started, and we're doing five dollars a day until I'm gonna turn them off right before the program on uh, Wednesday night. Yeah, let's chat Wednesday. Let's chat Wednesday. Let's chat Wednesday okay. afternoon if if possible. Just go to my. You should be able to hit the calendar and, and see something for Wednesday. Okay. Um, let's chat Wednesday before before we turn it off. I want to be able to. I want to turn them off with you. So, okay. Um, we'll we'll review that together on Wednesday. So we chat so this. Run. So we're going to come back. We're yes. all good. Those are the ad sets. And then once they approve that first one, I see it's running, hit review and publish and hit the green button. Yeah. By tonight, by tonight, I would say before you go to bed, like right before okay. you go to bed, no matter what time that is, whatever time you go to bed at night, check your email because you would have mm -hmm. got that email. That email would be would say would say fate. It would say your ad is, is scheduled or running. Okay. That's the email from Facebook. Your ad is scheduled or running. Do um, me a favor real quick. Can you drop your link to, to schedule just so I can bookmark it in the chat right now? Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Okay, Marky, let me know if you need anything else. Have a great weekend. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.